Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 65th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use class modules so you probably noticed them in the insert section and class module underneath module uh, so just go ahead and click on one of those and you'll notice that it opens up the same way a normal module does what class module is going to do is it's going to allow us to create our own objects in VBA and if you don't know what they are, then we've already been using them. So you say when you have this workbook uh, there, then that is an object in itself. Uh, and when you press the dot button or the period or full stop or whatever you want to call it, uh, you get a list of properties and methods for that object. Uh, so you can change the kind of name of it. You can change the password of it. You can save it, which is a method. Uh, and you can do all kinds of things with it. What we're going to do is we're actually going to create our own object uh, for you reference later on in our code. And so in our class module, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare some properties. And how we do this is the same way we declare variables. Uh, so basically, the properties of, of a class are just going to be a list of variables that link to that object. So the first one I'm going to have is name. Instead of writing dim, I'm going to write public. And uh, that's very important, that. And then you put the name of what you want to do it. So I'm going to have username and then the variable type. And then I'm going to have user balance as a double. And that's going to be, I'm just going to have the two properties. Uh, also, what I'm going to do is very important. I'm just going to name my class down here in the properties window. And if you haven't got it, you can press F4 or go to view and go to the properties window. Uh, if you've got to this far and you haven't worked out what the properties window is, then you probably want to go back and just review a couple of things. But um, I'm going to change the name of it. So uh, I'm going to call this uh, a user. Uh, so my object's name is just a user. And that's created our first object or class. Uh, and we can go back into our normal code now. So I'm going to go back into my normal module, into a normal sub. And I can now create instances of this object. And I can create as many instances as I want. Uh, so how you do it is just the same way you'd create a variable. So dim. And then whatever you want to call your object. So uh, first user or let's actually call them user1 and then as and then put new let's put you put new and then the whatever you call your objects notice how it comes up in the drop down menu uh, and then we've now got this instance of our object so we can now reference this so username user1 and then put dot and then the same way you would if you use this workbook or sheets or range or cells or any of the other built-in objects in VBA is coming up with our list of properties when we press dot. So all we do now is just put in that property. So user one dot username, and then we can reference it the same way we would a normal property. So uh, Matt, and then let's do the same for balance. So user balance equals five. And then let's output these on screen. So message box, and let's just put a user one dot username and just put a little colon and then format and then user one dot user balance and then we want it in the currency format so uh, hashtag 0 0.00 and we can now play this so play and it'll say matt five pounds so it's created our object up here with the new keyword and we then filled it in with our name and our balance and then we've written it out onto the screen and we can have as many of these as we want so let's say i want to create a user 2 
And then we can just put user2 dot username equals George. And then user2 dot user balance equals 10. And then let's just take this line up here and change the ones to twos. And press play. Matt, five pounds. George, ten pounds. So even though we're using the same variable names, because they're linked to a different object, uh, it, it's li linking to a different section of memory in the computer. So this can be really useful when you've got groups of uh, variables that you want to put together for certain individuals. Tidies up your code a lot, makes it really easy to understand for other people when you share it. Uh, and when we come into the coming tutorials, we can add some quite powerful things in there. At the moment, it's just basic storing of variables. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add methods to your classes. So thanks for listening. Please subscribe, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.